Today I want to talk about how to use fasting sustainably so you don't get into a situation of fasting burnout. What is fasting burnout? It's when you're fasting but the weight that you're losing becomes less and less. Fasting should always result in a substantial amount of weight loss. Always. If it's not, you are excessively fasting too much. So I want to talk about the importance of fasting sustainably on your weight loss journey. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dila Joy. I've lost the majority of my weight eating a one meal a day fasting schedule, which is a form of intermittent fasting where I fast for 20 hours a day and eat within a four hour eating window, or I fast for 23, 24 hours a day and eat within a one hour eating window. I kickstarted my journey with keto. Keto is the diet that has been effective for me because because keto is a metabolic diet. Keto is a diet that keeps the blood sugar levels low. Keto is a diet that keeps the energy consistent. And keto is the diet that crushes hunger. However, throughout my journey, I've used other diets as well. I've done high protein. I've incorporated carbs on my journey. But I always find the most success when my carbs are low, my processed carbs are non-existent, and my fasting is pretty frequent. Intermittent fasting. Anyway. I want people to see success on their weight loss journey because when it comes to losing weight and keeping it off, you can't just do one method. You need to incorporate the other method. What is that method? Exercise and building muscle. Building muscle and exercise, especially building muscle, will make your weight loss results more sustainable. Why? Because building muscle completely changes your body composition. It puts your body in a state of burning more calories for fuel because when you have more muscle muscle is more energetically demanding and if you are excessively fasting you're not going to put yourself in a situation where you are able to build that muscle now what do i think is excessively fasting anything that's over 24 hours of fasting and doing it frequently now you can excessively fast with omad your body will tell you that i like to keep a safe bet when it comes to extended fasting with OMAD, a good three months, take a break, go another three months. I did about six months straight, took about a month, and then I did another like four to six months. However, you want to vary your fast. This is kind of the purpose of this video. Dr. Mindy Pels talks about it. Vary your fast, because if you don't vary your fast, your body is going to adapt to fasting, and then you're gonna put yourself in a situation where it's really hard for you to lose weight. You don't wanna be in that situation. It's about metabolic flexibility. Well, the key to weight loss is going in and out of various methods of fasting and in and out in various methods of dieting. That is the key. If you stick to one method, you are putting yourself in a situation where your body's gonna adapt. Remember, the human body doesn't wanna lose weight because the human body adapted in a style or an environment where food was scarce. So the last thing it wants to do is lose weight. So it's gonna find every reason to hold on to weight if you put your body in a situation where you're not being flexible with your dieting or you're not being flexible with your fasting. So I think a good rule of thumb for like good weight loss with extended fasting without putting yourself in a situation where you are stuck is to definitely um, fast, I would say maybe do like a 48 to 72 hour fast once a month or maybe do weekly 36 hour to 48 hour fast because you wanna practice eating. You wanna also be able to eat during your journey because you wanna be able to put on muscle and muscle applies to any age group. I don't care how old you are, you wanna build that muscle. Muscle is gonna support you in multiple ways, not just to keep the weight off, but it's gonna keep your health span up. What is your health span? Your mobility. As you age, you wanna have strong joints. Muscle helps you have strong joints. Muscle helps to improve bone density. So that is key. Another thing when people make a mistake with excessively fasting, rolling fasts, I would do them for a month max. I would not do them often. There are some people that can, but personally, if you are young and if you are, you know, a woman especially and you have a female cycle, gotta be careful because your period will come back and haunt you. It will, meaning that you'll throw off your hormones. The thyroid needs a minimum of 1,200 calories 
a thousand to twelve hundred calories per day. So you don't want to mess up your other hormonal systems. So I would say a month of alternate day fasting or rolling fasts and then get off of it and then perhaps go to a lesser form of fasting. Um, less is more when it comes to losing weight. It's key because when you put yourself in a situation where you are, can lose weight doing bare minimum, you're a winner. If you have to keep doing all of these extended fasts or these excessive rolling fasts to constantly lose weight, you're going to wear out. You're going to wear out and your body is not a state of letting go. You want your body to let go and to do that, vary your fasts. Mix in long fasts with short fasts. With OMAD, if you want your body to let go, if you're doing keto OMAD, that's fine. Vary your fasts. When I was doing OMAD, keto OMAD, I was varying within my OMADs. So I would do 20 hours some days. Some days I'll do a 24. Some days I'll do a 26. There was the rare day where I had to take a break and maybe I would do an 18 and break a couple hours earlier. It's all about that variation because that variation keeps your body on its toes. So that is where I'm at when it comes to that. And I hope that you found value in this video. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in a bunch of clock emojis and I'm sending you mad love. Take care. Bye.